Most of you know that I enjoy going to thrift stores and to Dollar Tree. Um, I like to go to Dollar Tree to get things like holiday decorations and um, you know, little household things. And occasionally I find makeup has been discontinued, but it's decent brands and you know stuff like that. Falcon hates going shopping in theory, and it's hard to get him to go with me, especially to things like the Dollar Tree. But once he's in the Dollar Tree, he is all about going to the toy aisle and I like to go to the toy aisle too but I go down it make a quick scan and I'm done and we do get stuff occasionally you know just goofy little stuff but he likes to linger and he likes to find the toys that are all kinds of messed up either by design or by accident um, when we were there a couple of nights ago he found a whole rack of these Donald Duck uh, parachuting figures. Well, you know, yay so big, it has a little parachute and you drop them and they parachute down. It's all fine and good. But he located the one in the batch that was decapitated. Doll duck with no head. And uh, even when he showed it to one of the employees, I don't think they took it off the rack. Some child's going to probably uh, be suffering a little bit of emotional damage at some point. Or who knows, there may be that one person who's been looking for a headless Donald Duck toy. They will find it at the Dollar Tree. So, I finished looking. I went on my little merry way. I'm several aisles down by this point. I hear him yelling for me across the store. I said, is it really so important? Can you not bring it to me? No, get over here quick. Okay. So I head over. And he has found an action figure. It's called Fight Club. It has nothing to do with the movie. I'm surprised they haven't been sued. Championship Series Street Champions. So it's Street Fighters. Little, little action figures for Street Fighters. It's like you can co co collect them all. Correct them all. Um, Carlos Loco Gonzalez. Kroll. Ursa Major. Kebulov. Jack Hammer Jackson. Bruno the Mahler Marcos. Death Thumper Thompson. But this one happened to be Don One Shot Kong. Don One Shot Kong, tough looking guy in his red dragon shorts and his overly muscled chest and arms and his dragon tattoos. Pretty cool. But he's got one feature that is bound to win him every fight because the other boys such as Jackhammer Jackson or Carlos Loco Gonzalez, are going to turn and take off running, screaming like little girls, into the night. Like to see what it is? You do want to see what it is. Bar the children from the room. Because... Don One Shot Kong not only has well-shaped legs, dragon shorts, a dragon tattoo, and an overly muscled chest, he also has a penis growing out of his shoulder. Why, yes, he does. I'm trying to be as still as I can, but I'm awfully excited. He does. He has a penis growing out of his shoulder. There was some sort of a horrible, or perhaps wonderful, mistake in the uh, molding process. I'm trying to get as good of a shot of it as I can. It is difficult through this plastic. There. Um, I would like to take him out. <laughs> take a better look at it. But, you know, it would be horrible if it broke off. And I think we want to keep him in his box. But there you go. Don one shot. Dong, perhaps, should have been his name, eh?